The CinemaCon where last year the photo of the 2025 Avatar movie with the team as adults was leaked, just took place and some things were officially confirmed, and among them, that we will have three movies. Stay tuned to this video to know what was discussed at this convention and why we are in an amazing moment for the Avatar universe. Getting news from Avatar Studios is a very difficult task, worse than Netflix with their live action at the beginning. Practically once every three to six months some official announcement or logo appearance may come out somewhere, but it keeps practically everything in the shadows, without giving details of anything. See? Even Momo thinks it's a piece of junk. During last year's CinemaCon an image was leaked showing the Avatar team as young adults and many YouTube, Instagram and other sites were styped just to publish it, but then they ended up resigning because everyone knew what had happened. This madness that Paramount has for not showing anything I imagine it has to be a great marketing strategy, because we are literally at a key moment, since thanks to the live action, many more people became interested in this universe. If there was a time to show something, it should be now. Despite this, the strategy that Paramount seems to use is totally different, because in an event with a huge massiveness they revealed some details, yes, important but I think it would have been a good time to fan the flames with some new images. To begin with they announced that their next animated movie, the one about the Avatar team as adults, will be titled Aang, The Last Airbender. This is a production title so it could change in the final film. They also reiterated that it is the first of three films they will make, all centered on different avatars. The way things are going, we can expect an Aang movie, a Korra movie and a new Avatar movie. Yes people I would be fascinated if there was a Kyoshi movie. I even commented that there was a rumor from Avatar News that one of these movies would be the Kyoshi movie, but finally it was denied since the leaks were about the story they implemented about Kyoshi's time in Avatar Generations. In addition to this, some of the voices that will play the characters in this new installment were also mentioned. To start off we have Jessica Matten, who we had mentioned in a channel video, with the rumor that she would be voicing Katara. Well folks it turned out to be true. Eric Nam will be voicing the esteemed Aang. Roman Zaragoza from the Ghost series will voice the Boomerang Master Saka. Dion Kwan who voiced Trixie Tang and Kimmy Finster will voice Toph. Dave Bustista, who in Guardians of the Galaxy is Drax, will voice the main villain. This could rule out the antagonist slash villain of the movie being Azula. Wait! What's that? I think it's your honor! Where? She escaped, but how? Of course this was already confirmed but Brian Konietzko and Mike DiMartino the original creators of the series will be the producers and Lauren Montgomery who participated in many of the films of the DC Comics animated universe, will be the director. The release date will be October 25th and we will be able to see it in theaters. I'm intrigued to know if the villain played by Dave Bautista will be someone we've already met or someone totally new. I'm going more for someone new, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. We'll see you tomorrow with more videos. Bye bye.